What's up guys? Learning with Rich here again. In this video, let's continue our discussion about uh, Revit Structure 2021. Okay, so we are still on the foundations topic. So this time around, I'm going to teach you how to edit a profile of our structural wall for us to be able to create uh, step footings. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So let's get started. So I'm going to open now the exercise. Okay, and then after that, the step footings that I'm going to do will be on the side of the west elevation. So that is where I am going to modify the structural wall so we can create our step footings. Okay, so I'm going to open my uh, west elevation. So this side here, so this is the west. So you can also see it here on your uh, view cube. So there's the west, right? So that side is west, so I'm going to open the west here, so just double click. Okay, now for you to uh, modify the profile of your wall, all you have to do is uh, select your wall, okay, and then you just need to select your edit profile. So this is the tool that you can use to reshape your wall, okay, you need to edit the profile. So select edit profile after selecting the wall. Okay, and then you will notice there's a magenta color. So meaning to say you are on the edit profile uh, environment. Okay, so you can reshape here the wall. So what I'm going to do is uh, using the peak lines option here. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to specify the offset distance. So I'm going to type here 2 for 2 feet. Okay, or let's say, for example, I'm going to make it uh, 3 feet. All right, so 3 feet. Okay, then after that, I'm going to offset this line here below, just like that. So I'm going to pick. So there's the 3 feet. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to offset again uh, with a distance of 4, 4 feet. So let's say, for example, and then I'm going to hover my pointer. Uh, how about... Okay, so how about uh, here? So I'm going to pick. Uh, how about here? Okay, so I'll just offset here. So I'm going to pick this. There you go. So that's the offset of 4 feet. And then select modify to terminate the tool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this line here and then this line here. So for me to be able to do that, I'm going to use the trim extend to corner. Okay, so I, so I click this one. And then I'm going to click the side that you want to remain, which is this one, one, and then the other side that you want to connect, and then two. There you go. And then I want to delete this line here, this line here. So I'm going to trim, selecting this side, and then this side here. There you go. Okay. So let me try to do that again. So I'm going to select the peak lines option. Again, I'm going to type here the offset distance of uh, 3, and then I'm going to offset this down, okay? And then I'm going to select Modify. Now, I'm going to offset this line to the right again by a distance of 4 feet. So I select Peak Lines, Offset, 4, Enter, okay? And then let me click this one. There you go. And then again, I'm going to use the peak uh, the trim extend to corner. So I'm going to um, uh, select this line here. And then select this one. And then I select this line here. And then select this one. Okay, so in creating your profile, so make sure it is closed, no overlapping, and then no intersection. Okay, so always remember that otherwise, you will not be able to finish editing the profile of your wall, okay? Now, what I'm going to do next is I select the modify here to terminate the tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this area here. I'm going to mirror that to the other side. So instead of redoing the whole process to this side, I'm just going to select this side here using window selection from left to right here. And then after that, I'm going to use a mirror draw axis. So I'm going to click this. And then I'm going to snap here. 
one and then I'm going to pick two there you go okay so it's now mirror to this side again make sure it is closed no intersection no overlapping so we need to trim this line here okay so I'm going to select uh, trim extend to corner and then I'm going to pick this line and then this line here there you go okay so that's now the shape of my uh, profile here for the structural wall, which is what I call the step footings. Okay, then after that, I just need to select here, finish edit mode. There you have it. Okay, so in 3D view, I'm going to open the 3D view here. So this is now how it looks like. There you go. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this. Uh, structural column to uh, go to this uh, portion here so we are going to offset this to flash with this um, uh, footing that we have here with this foundation and automatically you will notice this uh, isolated footing will follow okay it will attach to the bottom of this uh, structural column okay so I'm going to select this structural column hold control Okay, and then from the properties, there's an option here to modify the base offset or to modify the top offset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the base offset here. This is the base part. This is the top part. So we're going to modify the base offset with a distance of 4 feet. Okay, so I'm going to change that to 4. Enter. And there you go. So automatically, the isolated footing will uh, will follow or will attach to the bottom of the column. You see, an attached structural column foundation or structural foundation will be moved to the bottom of the column, which is what we want. So I just need to select here, OK. Oh, sorry, it's not like that. It should be minus. It should be minus 4 feet. <laughs> OK, sorry. So select, select should be minus minus four enter just select ok and there you go okay so it's not four so what's the height of this okay so let me just because what i want is i want to move this all the way here so i'm going to measure just by using a line all right so i can't use that so i just go to the west okay so i use the measure between two references i'm going to click from here to here okay so it's 12 feet there so let me select this one two how many more okay so how many more so two feet more okay so i'm going to select hold control and then uh, instead of minus 4, so I'll just type minus 6. Oops. Enter. Okay. There you go. So that's what I want. So in 3D view, this is now how it looks like. Okay. So that is now our step footing. So what we did is we modified the profile of our wall. Okay. So hopefully... You learned something from this uh, video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.